we got an exciting piece of equipment that we want to show you that you can use out in the field and at home. Stay tuned. I'm really excited about this thing because I can think of hundreds of different scenarios that people would want this and use it out in the field, using it at home. Let's open it up and, and show everybody what we have. Absolutely, if you wanna grab the latch there, in here, well, we have a full-sized tablet. Cool thing about this is that it has five hours of battery life on it. It is fully touchscreen, and it has multiple I.O. port inputs, so you can plug in your DJI controller straight into it. You can connect to the internet with it, have access to all the apps, and it's really gonna be a game changer for those guys out in the field. If you're a police department and you're doing surveillance or you're looking at a certain area and you want to show a group of people or discuss it with a group of people, for them to be able to see what's going on with that drone is a very valuable tool. I know so many times we fly we got three or four people looking over our shoulder trying to explain to them what we have and what we're doing, where now we're able to project that information on a large screen, large monitor like this. And I think the use case scenarios for that would just be endless. There's multiple things you could do. As a fire agency, if you're a fire department, to be able to go out there and show where the fire is burning, to be able to share that information, I know. In LA City, when I used to work for LA City Fire Department, we would have these chiefs pull up with their sedans. They'd have these big monitors in the back, multiple, I mean, several thousand dollars to build out that system. And with this, just a few hundred bucks, and now you have that same capability, and you're able to take it with you wherever you go. Now you don't have four or five people trying to look at a small controller screen while somebody's operating the drone. You can just stream to this one or plug the controller straight into it, and have full access to the video. So you're out doing inspections or you need to do, uh, you need to give a, a demonstration of something with a drone for a group of people. You can actually put this out there and show, you know, this, this unit needs to be fixed. What we're seeing here with a thermal camera, projecting that thermal image onto the screen for everybody to see and understand. Exactly, and it can be used, like, like you mentioned, as that secondary screen, but you can also use this as its own standalone tool. You can, pl you can pull up FlightAware on it and see the air that the, all the flight traffic in the area and kind of get a good situation awareness. You can pull up uh, Google Earth and go through the area that you're gonna be planning beforehand on a bigger screen so everybody's on the same page. So it can be used as a planning tool, can be used as a visual tool. It, it really is a very versatile piece of equipment. Yeah, it's awesome. And I can think of some other softwares, Pix4D, Drone Deploy, where you're actually mapping a certain area and able to demonstrate and show exactly the map that's being captured at the moment and see, am I capturing everything I need for this? Be able to see you know, everything that's going on while the drone's being flown. And additionally, when you're done doing all the drone stuff, you can also just pull up a YouTube video, sit back and relax and watch this thing because it has multiple uses. You know, it's funny that you said that because we were talking about public safety, we're talking about commercial uses, but I'm thinking I want one because I could use this out in the field. There's multiple scenarios where I would train with this. I need to train people. But guess what? I want to take it home. If I go camping, I want to be able to pull it out. The kids can watch a video. I can pull out information right there. Whatever you want to do. So it's always with you. It's got internet. And one thing that we didn't mention yet, since this has such a large battery pack on there, you can use this as an external battery. So you can charge your controller. You can charge your phone. You can use this as sort of a backup battery that you always carry with you. So it's, it's like a multi-tool. And we forgot to mention, it's got a really nice speaker in the back, so you can always jam those tunes out when you're out in the field. So Jonathan, the, the screen is actually adjustable. You can put it in multiple different positions, right? You wanna show us how that works? Absolutely, so if you wanna just grab the back here, so you can lift it up or down, and then additionally, all you have to do is tilt it forward, and then you can have it go uh, from landscape to horizontal mode on oh, that's it. That's awesome. If we have a computer set up and we want to have multiple monitors, we could use this as a second monitor, right? Absolutely, you can, you, can, you can stream to it, you can also hook it up straight HDMI and have it act as a standalone second monitor with it. So for uh, any professional that really needs that extra screen space, but doesn't wanna carry around a monitor that they have to plug in somewhere, perfect solution, right? So with this unit, what accessories actually come with it that we would use? 
So the good thing about this unit is it has all the built-in compartments, so you don't really need to carry anything else outside of it. It does come with the AC charging cable. So when you run low on battery or you just want to use it at home, you can just plug this into the wall and it will charge right back up. This? That is the controller. So although it is touchscreen, you can also use it as a, as a regular controller with a remote if you're far away from it. Nice. The last thing it comes with is the USB-C uh, type cable because remember, you can use this to also charge other devices. Yeah, your phone starts getting low, plug it in, you got a six hour battery here, it's gonna charge you up. Absolutely. And all these go back into their compartments, so you don't really need to carry anything else outside of it. It's really neatly organized and just makes it really efficient out in the field. You're not losing anything. What do we do to get one? How much is it and where do we go? So this will be bought exclusively through the DSLR Pro's website, and it's going to be priced at under $1,100. So this is the DSLR Pro's mobile monitor, and it has multiple use case scenarios that we discussed today and probably another 50 more that we didn't talk about. But I'm excited to take this out in the field and use it. This is Derek Ward with DSLR Pros. And this is John Malnero. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.